All right, so we have looked at the letter learning strategies in Jan Richardson's Pre-A lesson plan template. Now, the thing that you should know is many of the strategies um, that you'll see in classrooms um, are proprietary. They've been created and are sold by particular authors, right? And the way that works then is if um, Jan Richardson is going to put this material in her book, it has to be her idea. So she sort of, you know, invented or at least first published these letter learning techniques. These aren't the only very efficient letter learning techniques that are out there but she can only write about the ones that she's sort of inventing. And that's kind of always going to be limiting. But as a good teacher, you can look for effective practices across published materials and incorporate them into your guided reading. So for example, way back in phonics, you had these Orton Gillingham cards. This is from a particular program. Orton Gillingham is just like Jan Richardson. And so um, the Orton Gillingham folks have created some materials that look like this. And you know that to practice these cards, which you own. Um, and if you don't, I'll put a link to this document so that you could print them if you'd like them. And the way you go over these with kids is these would be letters that they already have some knowledge about. And then you would have them read it this way. A, apple, a. Ah. So we get the name of the letter. We get the sound of the letter as it's isolated in that picture card. Now, the other thing you can do is you can have students form the letter. Usually I do this in the air while they are naming the letter. So for kiddos, it would look like this. A, apple, a. Ah. A, apple, a. Ah. This is great letter practice. Again, this would not be how you introduced a letter, but this would be how you would practice letters that kids are beginning to learn. Um, I'll put that link for those cards in the, uh, on our Blackboard. Now, once kids are pretty familiar with those letter sounds, then you could move to these cards that we made for phonics as well. Nothing fancy about these. It's just the grapheme at the top of the card so that you have space to hold the card. And you're gonna ask kids not to say the name of this letter, but to do what we do when we read, which is to look at the grapheme and make the phoneme very quickly. So the way this would work was, tell me the sound. K, sound, b, sound, p. So I have all of the cards of features that students already know. And to review, I'm going to just quickly go through these cards and I want them to as quickly as they can make the sound of this letter, not the name of the letter. So this could as easily be added to your letter learning techniques. Another Orton Gillingham based um, letter sound review practice is to do this. This is pretty complicated. Maybe not for your pre-A kiddos, but it is the closest to what kids do with letters and sounds when they write. You would have all of your students have a dry erase board and an eraser. And you're going to say, I'm going to tell you a sound. You show me the letter that makes that sound. The, le the sound is B. The sound is P. The sound is M. Mm. You see how this works? We are getting them to review or produce the letter that matches that sound. And that's exactly what kids do when they're trying to write the word mom, mom. They go from hearing the sound to writing the letter. It's complex stuff, but when kids practice that particular network um, of knowledge, it has direct application to their writing. Um, as kids are getting more proficient in the sounds that they know, again, this would be much beyond the pre-A kiddos, but if they knew um, some other phonics features, you could also start practicing those. Like, show me the letters you would use to make the sound shh. How about ch? How about v? Or ooh? See how it works? So this is... Um, an Orton Gillingham technique that we could borrow. Again, when you're thinking about making your own uh, template for a pre-A guided reading lesson, it might not be a bad idea 
to add in some of these techniques for learning letters that aren't owned by Jane Richardson, but you want to remember could be really useful in helping kids practice their letter knowledge.